just a little stop middle of my run just kind of wanted to show off some of this beauty are you kidding me right now look at this and the best thing about running or getting outside hiking whatever you want to do in this kind of weather it's like i don't know it's like 10 degrees or less snowing the trails are covered in snow but all this beauty is mine i get it all to myself so this is just a little reward for being tough and getting out there and getting some hope you're doing the same uh i'll check in when it when I get back home, getting a little chilly. And we're back. Finished up the run, had a nice run. I ended up getting in, let's see, right about eight miles. I did forget to hit, uh, resume when I started going again. I was t stopped and took some pictures and uh, noticed some cool stuff out there. So I think I maybe cut out, I don't know, maybe quarter mile at, at most, minute or two. Um, Ended up with about eight, right at eight on my watch, so maybe just a touch over, a little over an hour. I think I was running um, just a little over eight minutes per mile. Had a nice run. Kind of went out with no agenda. I didn't even think I was gonna get that much in. Kind of plan was five, maybe six, if I was feeling pretty good. Felt really nice. Uh, Temperature-wise was pretty, uh, pretty controlled on that, so pretty comfortable in what I wore. Um, so that's kind of one of the things I want to talk about is uh, how to get out there in that kind of weather. So when I stopped and chatted, I think I said teens, 10-ish. I, I think that's what I said. Um, got home, I checked the weather app and it was seven with the feels like of like in the negative 10s, 12s. So um, snow, snowing, not, a, not super heavy, but had some snow, snow covered trails for sure. Um, yeah, how'd I get out there and do that? So I want to talk about just some of the things that I do, some nice little uh, winter running tips, um, some of the beauty out there for sure. Um, That's one of the things I love running or getting outside, whether it's hiking, running, walking, taking the dog out, whatever. Um, those are some of the nicest things, the nicest days that you can get out, in my opinion. You really kind of have mother nature all to yourself so no one's on the trails or very few if any and you have some time to really be out there sort out some thoughts soak up all of the uh, nature and sun and um, even if it is cold there might be some sun still or all the snow to yourself you gotta have uh, hear the birds chirping and it's just quiet and peaceful I love it I like to get out there and just really kind of be alone in my own element and like I said it's just mother nature and me just out there doing our thing so um, my original plan was to get on the bike and uh, ride the trainer downstairs, just kind of get some aerobic conditioning in. I am training for a running event, but you know, it's like I said, five degrees, seven degrees, snowing, feels like is in the negatives. Yeah, why put yourself in that condition when you can just still get some good aerobic conditioning uh, and move on, right? Is it gonna, it's not sports specific, but we're really still training that same system. We're gonna get some good benefit out of it. But I looked outside, I had a little bit of coffee and breakfast and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna to toughen up, I'm gonna put on some proper stuff, I'm gonna put on the right mindset, and I'm gonna get out there and enjoy it. No agenda, I'm gonna ride the trainer for whatever I don't finish up on my kind of goalish time. So I ended up kind of doing the whole thing of running. Um, yeah, I was really happy about that. So what are some things that, help me get out the door and do those kind of things. Get out in this weather, right? So first thing is clothing. You gotta kind of, once you make up your mind that you're gonna get out in it, let's just do it properly, put the right stuff on. So kind of starting from uh, base layer all, and build out. So I had some nice wool socks on, thick wool socks. I had um, short running tights. I wear them in the summer a lot but then I put those underneath my running, uh, my full length tight. So those, I wore shorts, thin shorts, um, just that extra layer kind of in that cold crotch um, thigh region. Got to keep that stuff warm. Um, underneath, uh, upper, upper body, 
I had full long sleeve with a mock turtleneck, um, long sleeve kind of like merino wool, um, had it for many years. Uh, we'll kind of get into the whole vegan thing too. We'll, we'll address that down the road. So I've had it for a long time, uh, pre uh, deciding to do eat vegan, live that, that kind of lifestyle. Um, it works, right? I'm not gonna get rid of something if it works and it serves its purpose, right? So I wore that nice mock neck. Uh, I did have one of the, the gator necks on. And so it's a long kind of just like tube uh, of fabric. Uh, the one I have, I have a, a few of them. Some are real thin. This one is, I forget the name of it, Turtle Tough or something like that, Turtle. And it's kind of got this nice uh, fleece inside. It's longer also and thicker. So I wore it, kind of had it up over my ears and over my chin, kind of tucked it down in my shirt. And so that helped out a lot nice beanie on top so i had double layers on my ears over my chin um, obviously i got this scruff thing on my chin my neck had double layers uh, and then so the outer layer i had uh the pants they're some craft like sub-zero they have nice extra insulation over the thighs and knees so that's huge for me you have like double extra it's wind and insulation for heat so that helps a ton for me. Um, I have some knee issues. We can kind of get into some history on that maybe later on. It's not super important. Um, but I like to keep my knees warm. And so if my, jo my joints are warm. You don't have a lot of insulation on, on joints. They're kind of just bone, cartilage. So not a lot. Those muscles, you know, we've got a lot of blood flow to muscles, not a ton of blood flow um, to those ligaments and different things there. So it's good to keep a little extra wrap on them in these real cold temps. So I had that on and then I had a matching kind of top layer. It did have that, so same thing, just that front panel, um, chest to waist pretty much of that extra uh, insulation and, and wind protection. And then nice thick long sleeves. It did have the thumb holes, the little cutouts, put your hand. So like it's covered up about halfway on your hand. Um, and then I stuffed my mitts in some mitts. So I had some nice thick mittens. Um, I think you might've seen in, in the previous shot. And that that's kind of what I wore. It had a hood, but I didn't really pull it up because the beanie I had had one of those little fluffy balls on there. I know, pretty cute, huh? And uh, so I didn't really use the hood. Maybe could have, maybe swap out the beanie if you really want that third layer. And then um, shoes. Let's see, that's the only other thing I didn't address is I had, I wore my trail shoes, even though these are um, paved trails that I, I've been running on, I had my trail shoes on. So kind of why? Well, it's, it's snow covered for one. And then also outside of that, like it, they have a little bit extra, they're not huge aggressive trail shoes. So the little extra nubs that it did have provide that extra traction, extra bite, just kind of, um, prevent me slip. I didn't slip at all. Um, again, it, but it, it was kind of like that powdery snow. So you still got to get a little extra, um, bite out of that anyway. So, and I wasn't running hard. I was just nice and easy kind of bopping along. Um, like I said, eight, I don't remember exactly eight, eight Oh five a mile, just kind of whatever the body was kind of wanting to do. And then, so that's clothing. The next kind of thing is really paying attention to what kind of running you're doing. So for me today was just get out the door, run some miles, easy miles, um, always knowing that when I'm getting cold, I can kind of dial up the, the tempo just a little bit, obviously not being sketchy and, and risk slipping and stuff like that. But just if you turn it up just a little bit, you're going to create more body heat, extra stay a little warm. So these like those kind of progressive runs for me are really, really nice to go kind of use uh, in these kind of colder temperatures. So that works really well for me. Um, today, just kind of kept it nice and steady, uh, kind of managed heat. And then sweat management's always a good one if you have a zipper or kind of pull things off and on a little bit. Uh, it helps today. I kind of just kept it super chill, didn't need to, stayed really comfortable the whole time. And then the, the big thing also is mindset. Like I said, I had a plan to just hop on the bike. That was my original goal today plan for for working out we were going to leave town travel we had the snow come supposed to snow all weekend so we're just going to try to plan that trip another time um so 
the plan was hop on the bike, maybe ride um, side by side. We have the two trainers downstairs. Uh, my wife and I were gonna kind of hop on and, and ride together while the little guy was taking a nap, uh, laid him down and I just had that cup of coffee, had a little breakfast in me. And I was, I don't know, feeling pretty good. It's like, I'm gonna go brave it. If I get too cold, I can always come back and finish up on the bike, whatever I don't get in. And I got out there, I was super comfortable. I was happy, I was enjoying it. I had uh, the trails all to myself. No one else was out there. I was the only brave or silly soul out there. I don't know, whatever you wanna call it, but I was enjoying it, I was loving it. It was a good time, just me, mother nature, kind of just doing our thing out there. So uh, what'd you do? Did you get out, did you do anything? Do you brave it? Do you just say, that's not for me, I'm gonna, I already know what I'm gonna do? And that's fine, you know, like whatever suits you. I just wanna know, these are some tips that work for me. Um, maybe next time you wanna try some of them out. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to help. Even though this is video number two, and I'm sure only three people might watch it, so me included. But anyway, I'm just enjoying this. I'm learning a lot, having a lot of fun with this. Um, gonna try some new things. This is already take number two on this one. I had a little audio issue. It didn't record anything, so I'm redoing it. So I uh, hope everything looks okay, sounds okay. Um, with that, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.